Hi guys, welcome back to another beta testing video of the Hover Air X1 Pro Max. Uh, let me take you first to my first lab space, which I call the Frog Pond. The reason I'm doing this is, so you saw the beginning here with the arrow pointing at this. Um, this is basically trying out and beta testing the new Omni Terrain flying feature that comes with the Hover Air X1 Pro Max and the Hover Air X1 Pro. Now the idea is, first of all, my understanding, this is what the Zero Zero Robotics told me, none of their drones have got built-in GPS, satellite-based positioning system, which means they have to use uh, enhanced AI and computer vision to find, understand, analyze their terrain, where they are. Now, as you know, previously with the Hover Air X1, you weren't able, well, some, some people actually have achieved that, but a lot of people also have crashed, actually. You weren't able to fly above water, above um, snow, other reflective surfaces, and also cliffs or cliff edges that were think deeper than 15 meters or so now as you can see here for a start first of all we had a zoom out over the frog pond and it was flying perfectly above the water and then coming back the second test i then did was um, i'm using the orbit mode now what i didn't realize when i first pressed the buttons i ended up with orbit i think um, three times uh, uh, going around so 1080 degrees instead of 360 but anyway I thought as part of this I might as well test again the tracking functionality and you can see if you go out into the field and do something like this so more than one revolutions with the Hover Air X1 and then let it track you you actually get some pretty interesting perspectives and I could imagine certain types of sports certain types of activities where this could be particularly useful now as the hover is coming back here again over the water let's go to the next lap and I think the next lap was the fishing pond if I remember rightly let's see yeah so fishing lake um, this is another lake here uh, all the all, you know all, all the recordings all the videos that you can see are actually done in a large nature reserve um, and country park outside London lucky enough I've got permission for the park range so you can see again here the omni terrain feature is on that is something you should be checking when you want to fly over these kind of challenging surfaces so reflective surface water snow and cliff edges and you can see here I took the hover right up right out over the lake um, no issues it's just flying along and also what I want to show you here is the new button functionality because you don't need to necessarily use the smartphone anymore to select the functions you want to use. You can basically toggle through by pressing left and right, then selecting what you want and then pressing briefly the selector button and that's it. It you set in and that works for all the flying modes that are currently on the Hover Air X1 Pro Max can see a seagull flying past here um, pretty calm day I have to say didn't have the best weather over the last couple of days or so this was taken in between a heavy thunderstorm and then heavy rain so I had to go out quickly this was on the next day then um, let me take you to my third lap which is a different lake that's a duck lake uh, I was playing out a little bit with um, the zoom out first here as well and this one is actually manual control mode i did overlay part of the zoom flying in here so if you say hang on a minute these two videos don't synchronize the one on the big screen is basically the footage from the hover in the manual flight whereas the one in the inset screen is the one taken whilst i was doing a i think it was a 10 meter zoom out over the lake just to give you an idea of what this looks like this was actually quite windy day so you can see the waves here on the lake surface wasn't the best weather I would argue probably somewhat low light conditions certainly quite 
grey. Um, today, early on, was quite different. Uh, but again, we had another some thunderstorm popping up. So obviously, this is something that the Hover Air X1 Pro Max can't really improve. If you got grey skies, you got grey skies. But rather than waiting until the next piece of sunshine is coming through, and clouds on blue skies, I thought I'll take it out and test it in these, well, rather dull conditions. But still, and, and you also can see on the trees uh, waving around, it's been quite windy on that day as well. And the hover was performing perfectly well. No particular issues experienced. And with that said, let me take you to my next lap, which is basically a very wide field. The idea here is, and I'm speeding this up a little bit, by the way, all the footage you can see is coming straight off the hover, no color grading, nothing done with it other than editing, meaning trimming it, and in this case, speeding it up, because I wanted to show you, I took it out distance-wise up to more than 100 meters to see how the connectivity works. You can see the manual control screen here. So this was all controlled with a smartphone only. I haven't got any controller, I haven't got any beacon, I haven't got any joystick yet. Hopefully Zero Zero Robotics will send me that in the next few days or so, as well as for the other beta testers, but for now, just took out the smartphone. So that was the distance test, and that worked surprisingly well, I have to say. I mean, I used other drones before from other makers, and um, they usually sort of cut out after 30 meters over a software limited note to go beyond that and um, at 40 or 50 meters even with a wi-fi extender you find that the connectivity often drops out now here i haven't got any footage yet that kicks in a minute because i forgot to hit the record button silly me but lucky enough i recorded the screen and you can see once again i'm taking the hover right up here up to beyond 100 meters again another sort of beta test to see how the connectivity is at that level i think it goes up to 100 300 4 and that's when i stopped because it's actually quite scary when you're standing underneath there and you look up and you think oh this little tiny dot is my hover air x1 pro max and obviously i don't want to end up a fly away you can also see here very quickly i noticed there is some additional camera settings exposure values and iso in here i haven't tried these out yet in fact i haven't actually done a proper beta test of the app version yet I'll just bring it up again so you see it again haven't done a proper beta test of the app version yet and you can see here i noticed oh i am actually forgot to record so i'm recording now and for the remainder of this beta testing video you get to see a little bit of the manual control screen obviously you've got virtual sticks here i got to say this is going down rather slow because um, the zero zero robotics team in the last firmware update when they rolled that out to us beta testers were actually rolling out a cine mode or cine like mode to see what that looks like which means all the movements are soft so including the throttle up throttle down your left your right and then also pitch roll axis all quite slow and quite timid which means it takes a while to get the hover back from where well, we know 60 meters distance down to actually to land and in a little while i'm taking off the manual control control screen which gives you an opportunity to just enjoy a little bit of the footage coming out of the hover air x1 pro max footage here is filmed uh, as is all the footage i've done to date because my computer really is not good enough to process 8k all of this so far is 4k and 30 frames per second unless i've showed you i think the other day might have done a bit of slow mode the slow mode was 120 frames per second but all of this what you can see here now is straight out of the pro max um, footage as it comes nothing else done to it obviously as i said earlier it was a great day um, this was yeah this was also after a thunderstorm and and some rain so i just wanted to take it out give you the opportunity to experience both the footage and also what the new omni terrain flying feature looks like now zero zero robotics told me you can fly the hover so say in normal scenarios if you don't want to fly over water snow reflective surface or 
of a cliff. You can fly it without the omniterrain flying um, feature actually being switched on and the indicator light will tell you whether it's on or off. However, if you want to fly over these more challenging environments, then you should ensure this has come on first before you're flying in these scenarios. Because if not, then you may experience similar flying physics like you experienced for the Hover Air X1, meaning uh, you could potentially crash. So you need to keep an eye out on that. More Peter testing to come soon. This was a bit longer. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. Peace.